who wants to shout? How you doing, baby? Okay. <laughs> Bonnie, Bonnie, Bonnie. You got a quarter before I can use the phone, baby? You cheap ass white motherfucker shit. <laughs> All right. How you doing, baby? It's good to see you, baby. Oh, don't try to hide me. Right here's one of my mans right here. I see you sitting with your wife, baby. Let me tell you about him, okay? <laughs> he ain't just your man, baby. He come to me twice a week, okay, baby? <laughs> I'm serious, honey. Two hundred dollars twice a week. You should learn to give a blowjob, girl. Then you could give him that blowjob. He will give you that two hundred dollars, and you could go out and buy yourself some nice clothes because you won't have to come out looking like that. <laughs> All right, girl. Bye, 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 bye. Don't act like you don't know me, bitch. You paid me fifty dollars last week to throw grapefruit at you while you masturbated. <laughs> All right, Miss Sing. What? Ah, bye, 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 bye. I made it all the way down them steps without falling. All right, girl. How y'all doing? How many homosexuals do we have in the audience tonight? <laughs> Raise your hand. Raise your hand if you are homosexual and proud. Now look around and see who the homosexuals are. All right, now. Because, you know, we're fierce, girl. That's our 25-year liberation today. Hallelujah. One, no, they didn't come into the bar, girl, and the straight old butch ones back in the back in the letter, girl, they ran out the back door and the drag queens fought, girl. Yes, ma'am. Good evening. That's what started gay liberation. How many heterosexuals do we have? Okay. <laughs> How many people is bisexual? Raise your hand. I'm bisexual, honey. I fuck anything that walks by. <laughs> No, I am bisexual. You can buy me for twenty-five dollars. Seriously. <laughs> All right, baby. That's cheap too. That's a that's that's a that's the Stonewall discount. <laughs> All right, twenty-five dollars a year for every dollar, girl. It is all worth it. All right, party, 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 party. Getting ready to do me a little blow, baby. Do me some work. And I'm gonna go to the store, and then I'm gonna give me some more, cause I'm a hoe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, girl, this is good shit too. Now this is heroin and cocaine mix, baby. I call this my little speed bump. All right. <laughs> That's like you giggling, cause you know what it sound like. <laughs> Mm. Good shit, too. Oh, wow. Wow. me now. I'm gonna, where's my lipstick, girl? I'm gonna have to get pretty, girl, because I know I'm getting ready to work, honey. All right, girl. Getting ready to get a little lipstick on, baby. I know you working now, girl, because you working. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> this stuff don't want to go on easy. that cab go cheap ass lipstick damn baby you gonna have to come to me That was a trip. <laughs> <laughs> All right, girl, who's got some money for I can use the phone? Do you have five dollars for I can use the phone, baby? It's long distance. It's long distance. Damn. Excuse me, can you spare another dirty look? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> save the hoes. Nuke the motherfucking whales, baby. Just save the hoes. <laughs> so you have five dollars to save the hoes, baby? <laughs> Come on across the street. Come on. Red, a 
green or blue or yellow, baby, because when I'm in the middle of the street, they ain't hitting nobody, girl. They ain't hitting. Who they hitting, baby? I know this little Mr. Softy took ain't hitting nobody, girl. Oh, shit, you better slow down, bitch. Oh, my shit. Shit. Ah! Fuck is this shit? <laughs> Some kind of funky police station, girl. Where's my light, girl? All right, see, I know they knew I was coming, baby. <laughs> shit, they must have took my ass to the hospital, girl, because I know I got here, baby. I bet I damaged the fuck out that car, baby, because shit. Got me in the police station here, but get rid of this shit, honey, because before they come up in here. I know I'm getting rid of this shit, baby, because they might get me for putting a dent in a car, but they ain't gonna get me for drugs, baby, and they can't say I was supposed to go. They didn't walk in on me, girl. Come here, baby. Get rid of this shit now. <laughs> That's all of that. Oh. Down there with that tuck. <laughs> Get rid of this shit too. Stick that pin back in there to make that look like a pin. All right, baby. All right, give myself a little. Mm. They got something here for me to fill out too. Gonna rest my ass. Transition form. It's a damn good thing I read, baby. <laughs> you are at wait station number six. Our computers are down. <laughs> we are temporarily operating manually. There will be a bus arriving shortly. Please fill out the enclosed form. It will help you to evaluate the life that you have just lived. Damn. <laughs> I'm dead. Gee, oh my God. The people in front of you are not here to judge you, but to support you through your transition. Hey, all right now. A little bit of support. All right. This bus will take you to Clarence. Who the hell is Clarence? Where you will meet your maker. Damn. Well, all right, girl. I know I'm not burning in hell, so I'm going to sit back and wait for the bus, girl. All right, girl. Why? Why me, God? I knew you liked me all along, God. Work. All right. You're fierce. You are fierce, God. All right. Let's see here. All right, y'all. You know you're not sending a party to hell, girl. Woo, girl. OK, first name, mm, Pony. They call me Pawnee because I pawn everything I get my hands on, baby, because I don't get high, okay? I stay high. <laughs> got hair in my mouth, baby. That's worse than pubic hairs, getting them wig hairs in your hair. <laughs> Hope I don't still have calm in my hair, too. Okay. Last name, Pawnee. <laughs> First name, Pawnee. Last name, Pawnee. Pawnee, 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 Pawnee. <laughs> All right, cause of death, got hit by a mother fucking Mr. Softy truck. <laughs> the last thing I heard was doodly doo do 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 Denomination. Denomination, girl, nothing smaller than a one, girl. No change, okay? What? Okay. This is fun shit. Okay. 
that's the nation. I don't got no goddamn destination. I'm homeless. That's why I always say my place is yours. And I hope it's yours. Because I don't have a place. I'm sad, ain't I? Race. Black. You may to look at me think that I'm white. But I am black because the woman that raised me, you see, was black. The woman that had me was white. And she threw my little ass in the trash can in the alleyway so she could run after all her men's and all her cocaine. And a black woman came and scooped me up out of the trash can and raised me in this thing. So don't let me hear all this talk about black people this and black people that and black people drugs and black people welfare, girl, because a black woman raised me in this thing, okay? Good evening. <laughs> B-L-A-K. Black. <laughs> Father didn't have none. You should like that, baby. I'm immaculate conception, just like your son. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just fuck it with you, God. Okay. <laughs> mother. My mother, Marie, the woman who raised me. Those drug dealers walked in our house and shot her through her face, baby, because she was trying to get them out of our neighborhood, honey. She didn't want them in our certain projects selling the drugs, and so she started a community association. Motherfuckers walked in the house, pointed a gun in her face, and shot her through her face while I hid in the closet, girl. Mistake, that was the last time I hid in the closet, too, because let me tell you, mistake, I was in that place for three weeks by myself, afraid to come out, living on that food. Then I had to dispose of the body. Then I didn't report it, baby, because I didn't want anybody to know I was living there. I kept them welfare checks coming, baby. 13 years old. Had all the sense to do that, keep them welfare checks coming, and stay there and stay in school, okay? Because I knew I had to be a poet, honey. I was going to be a poet, okay? This was what, honey, before rap, that was me. Okay, Miss Thing? So I knew I'm going to do my first poem for y'all that I ever wrote. It's called Home Alone. That's before the movie. <laughs> I'm home alone. And I can't use the phone. Because the phone company won't turn it on. Mama's dead to the bone. And I ain't even got enough money for an ice cream cone. Education. I got my education. I got my education. I got my education. All right, girl. What? Girl, I got my education. I stayed in school till I was 16, okay? I was, I was working, girl. I was hustling, baby, to keep me in a little extra money, girl, because that welfare check ain't too much, baby, even for a teenager to live on, girl. I was working down there, girl. I was a pretty boy, too. And then I got this motherfucking ass white teacher that hated my ass. Because he was a closet case. I, think, I know that's what it was. He was always talking about, James, why do you want to act like a woman? Why don't you want to act like a man? And why do you want to act black? Why don't you want to act like white? Why don't you want to act like a white man? I said, looking at you. <laughs> Miss Thing. So then, he was always giving me these special assignments, honey, wanting me to get in touch with my Western heritage, right? Okay, motherfucker brought me this book called Oedipus Rex, okay? He wants me to read this thing about this man, this old crazy man, and all the way they spell that stuff, it don't make any sense the way you say it and the way you spell it is different. And he wanted me to read this Oedipus Rex and make a report to him on Oedipus Rex, girl, so I can get in touch with my Western. Let me tell you about this motherfucker, Oedipus. He was a mess, girl, okay? He couldn't do anything right because it was already set up because this blind motherfucker named Tiresias had already set everything up by saying that the fate, which is what happens to you, is already against you before your life ever starts. That sounds like me, don't it? So, honey... I read this little thing. Of course, I didn't read the play, girl. I went and got them little, uh, you know, what the, them little yellow books with them black stripes on them, baby. <laughs> girl, that's what I got, because I didn't have no time to read that long thing, girl. So I said on the day that my oral report was due, it would be an oral report, because I wasn't writing any other kind of report, girl. So I came in, and I said, my report on Oedipus Rex 
is going to be an oral report. And the class started to listen. Hold on, just thinking, let me get my note. Hmm, I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> Here I go. Oedipus was a king, oh yes he was. Oedipus was a king, oh yes he was. Now, he gouged his eyes cause he told lies to himself. Oedipus dingling, hello. Oedipus was a king, don't you go down to Thebes now. Wow, 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 wow. You get no second chances, woo, on um, these inbred romances, said the man who couldn't see. Tiresias, down upon your knees. You will listen to my plea. You will kill your own daddy and your with your mommy, and you'll have a new baby, and her name Antigone. Don't forget, sis, it's me. Oh, we thank you, Socrates. Oedipus was a king. You get no second chances. Ow! On these inbred romances. We get no second chances. Ow! On these inbred romances. Oedipus was a whore. Oh, yes, it was. Oedipus was a whore. Oh, yes, it was. Mom came through the door, and he knocked her on the floor, and he ate his mom on the floor. Through the door, Oedipus was a whore. Oedipus, Oedipus, woo, 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 woo. you get no second chance. No, you don't. You got that, didn't you? On these and red romances, you get no second chances. We on these and red romances. He shot a wuss. Bang! It was his paw. He ate a puss, it was his mouth. It a puss, was a puss, yes it was. Who'd have thought a young Greek boy when he messed around and toy would get Freud so overjoyed that it made us paranoid? It a puss, you bad boy, you get no second chances. We in these inbred romances, no you don't girl, you get no second chances. You were put to the test, wandered blind without rest, all throughout the wilderness, you're a mess. In a dress, Oedipus was a mess. You get no second chances. Woo! I'm um, these inbred romances. Woo! Get no second chances. No, you don't, girl. The class tripped out, girl. <laughs> Y'all tickle me. They were living for my song, girl. Teacher said, Jane, this is unacceptable. <laughs> you use too many double negatives. I said, motherfucker, you are a double negative. I said, you got a double chin and a double belly and you're double ass ugly. <laughs> so he sent me to the principal, who called my mother, who is dead? <laughs> Girl, and now they're talking about they're gonna send me into a foster home, okay? Now you know how they have them, you know how they have them specials on television so y'all white people can feel like y'all in on it like um what it was to be tonight, falling through the cracks, goon at eleven. <laughs> right, Miss Thing? The clothes on there, Miss Thing, please. I was down in the crack like this, going, hey, I'm in the crack. All right. <laughs> now I ask you. What family bopping into New York to the adoption agency is going to be interested in adopting a 16-year-old white male who thinks he's black and dresses like Patti LaBelle on weekends? <laughs> Nobody. So I quit school and gave up that apartment and ran to the pier, got me a little room on the West Side Highway at the Jane Street Motel Girl, and worked out of there. Started doing drag in the club's call. I was fierce too, I was a fierce drag queen, Miss Thing. And then it all started getting all mixed up and everything. Sex. Another fucking trick question. <laughs> this lady asked me the other day, moments, before I met my end with a Mr. Softy truck. <laughs> she said, why do you want to dress like a woman? Why don't you want to be what God made you? I said, girl, why don't I want to dress like a woman? Women have been doing it for years, girl. 
I said, God made a man a man, and God made a woman a woman, too. But God did not hand the woman a little thing of blue eyeshadow and a man a pair of pants, girl. He just, he just gave one of them a poodle and one of them a dick, baby. And that's, he didn't give them all the, the clothes and the way they act and the way they're supposed to be. That's all people made that shit up. She said, hmm. <laughs> girl, don't you know I touched somebody's life? <laughs> drag queens, girl. Men are afraid of drag queens. A man, a man walking down the street is more afraid of a drag queen than he is if a soldier was walking up with a gun. I don't get it. <laughs> Occupation. How? <laughs> Ambition. How? <laughs> and poet. girl, all them priests and all them people getting up in church and everybody talking about how bad hoes are. You know, you, you even think I'm bad. You don't like to hear me talk nasty. You think it's bad, right? Well, let me tell you something. You don't get your supply, baby, unless you got some demand, okay? So every time you want to look at the supply and point your finger, you better look right over at the demand, baby, because every time you point your finger at somebody, okay, it's three pointing back at you, bitch. You think about it, all right? And the people that come to you, baby, to, people that come to you is sick. You get priests, you get lawyers, you go, I had this man, I had, okay, I had a priest come to me. Now, this is true. I'm not lying, girl. Priests come to me, take me right down in a van, down to the West Side Highway, wanted me to spank him and shit in a hot dog bun, okay, and then make him eat it. I'm serious. I'm not lying to you. I rolled down the window and asked the next car, excuse me, do you have any gray poupon? <laughs> my hair alone. This chair's about to work my nerves, girl. <laughs> what I learned? I learned that black, white, man, woman, rich, poor, because I had them all, girl. It don't matter. Life is still fucked up. People are selfish, mean, and stupid. <laughs> I have these people, girl, they think if I have a good time, they don't have to pay me, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Miss Jake, I tell them I'm working, baby. If you don't think I'm working, pick your little ass up and go look in the mirror, and you will know that I am working, okay? <laughs> Please, girl, it's my job to act like I'm having a good time, girl. You know what I'm saying, girl? Coins. Oh, please. Meaning of life. Do the best with what you got, baby, because that's what I did. I don't know. I don't know what the meaning of life is. You're supposed to tell me. That's why I came up here to this little bus station girl waiting to go to heaven so God, he could tell me the meaning of life. Oh, mistake. Did you hear that? Girl, look at this voice going on. The voice say, God's not a he. It's not a she either, he said. Well, now, th that's fierce, because, you know, I would have this drag queen friend girl. All right, listen to me now, because I had this drag queen friend girl, and she was so all up into drag queenery, honey, she wasn't even a drag queen. She was a gender illusionist, okay? <laughs> now, we worked together at the Pyramid, okay? And she told me I was self-destructive and why I want to be this way with myself, and I should respect myself as a drag queen. And I said, what are you talking about, girl? And she said, well, girl, in the olden days of drag queenery, in the primitive times, girl, the drag queen in the tribe, honey, was the most respected of all of the people in the tribe because you was a man and you dressed like a woman if you was a woman and you dressed like a man and all the people in the tribe came to you because they knew that you understood both sexes the best you solved all the marital problems you had the highest relationship to God girl you was they was all like this to you and not only that girl they noticed you when you was a little child and they started preparing you for your drag role girl in the highest society so you went all the way to the top of the tribe the minute they thought you was a sister or a tomboy girl that was how it was and that was how it should be girl all right so let me tell you something God if you're not a man or woman what is you baby you just like that woman said those people in them tribes where you are other right okay sex other 
That's what I'm putting. All right, baby God, you are fierce. Slow down, baby. Oh, he said he don't like the word God. He prefer infinite knowledge and unconditional love because God has too many misconceptions. So, all right, word, Miss Thang. Here comes the bus, baby. Okay. All right. I'm right here. Whoa! Don't pass me up, baby. No, I'm coming, girl. Hold on. I got my paper right here. I hope they don't got me some softy trucks up here, girl. Watch out. Okay. No, right here. Stop! Woo! joy of heaven like fellows ever rolls on and on increasing glory so free is ever bringing to me this great salvation will keep me till last morning shall dawn but for jesus amazing grace to me the joy of Let's have a little house slide. How are you? Praise Jesus. Thank you for coming, precious. God loves you. Hallelujah. Rondala na 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 na. Seeking him na 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 na. Rondala na 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 na. Shana hana hasamana. All right. I'm speaking in tongues. That's the Holy Spirit inside Sandy Sheets this morning. Hallelujah. Now we're gonna start the faith. We are climbing Jacob's golden ladder. Put your hands together.
practice, and I don't know how you expect me to lip sync to my own songs if you don't have the monitor on. We set the sound level, and that's not the sound level. And young sir, I don't want you talking back to me in front of a studio audience. And the monitor is not on. I can't see the words. I'm sorry, y'all. It's been a long day. We've taped two shows, and sometimes Bobby doesn't quite listen to Sandy. <laughs> so let's just cut it with the opening number, go back and do it later, and go on to the Bible study. <laughs> That's what I like to hear, Bobby. Okay. <laughs> Need my Sandy Pocket Bible, which all of you should have. This is a special red letter Sandy edition. All the words of Sandy and all the words, I mean all the words of Jesus. Excuse me. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. All the words of Jesus that Sandy interprets is what I meant to say are all in red. Okay. Are we ready to roll tape? Praise God. Hallelujah. Welcome back to the show. I'm glad you enjoyed that message from my little dog Ezekiel's Heavenly Hash Dog Food. If you want your dog to be happy, holy, and healthy, buy Sandy Sheets and Ezekiel's special food. Okay. Now, today's lesson comes from Matthew 7. This is Jesus from the Sermon on the Mount in which he is instructing us. To beware of false prophets, Pat Robertson, which will come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravenous wolves. Jerry Falwell. <laughs> Ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men who gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles? Every sow, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit. Every corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit. And a corrupt tree cannot bring forth good fruit. The reason I'm talking about this today is we know about the attacks that are being heaped on this show and this Christian empire by Mr. Robertson at this very moment as his counter charges in our sex suit that there is not a lot of truth to this and I don't want you to get worried and I want you to know that our lawyers fees and this whole thing, I know they've reported on the news that it's hundreds of thousands of dollars, none of that, none of that is the money that you all send in. None of it. It's all coming right out of my own little pocket. I promise. Okay, and I wouldn't lie because you know God loves Sandy and Sandy loves you. Hallelujah. Jerry Falwell and Pat Robertson are trying to bring down this empire with this awful slander, and I don't want you to believe it for one minute. And I want you to keep me in your prayers, keep me in your heart, keep me in your soul, and keep me in your pocketbooks. <laughs> Thank you, friends. And now we're going to go to a special message from Sandy's Heavenly Healing Haven for homosexuality. You'll see our center right on the video board. Okay, listen, Bobby, I need to take 10, okay? I just need to take 10. I don't like talking about this on the air, and I think it would be much better if we dealt with it separately because it's very emotional for me. 